Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Go Season 4 Theory and Prediction video. And today, I think I just discovered how Tariq could end up in the UK for what would be his spinoff after Go Season 4 wraps up. And he would be entering this spinoff hand in hand with his new girlfriend, Anya Covington. So you know what that means? Effie, dead. Diana, dead. Kane, dead. Well, actually, we don't know, man. Maybe one or two of them live, but he, he will be hand in hand with Anya Covington. Now, watch this video to the end because I will explain the most likely angle Tariq will take to get with Anya. The reasons in the lead up that will lead to them falling for each other, the issues they will face once things get serious, and how Go Season 4 could potentially end if the Stars Network does intend to extend the Power Universe into the UK. Disclaimer, this is a theory and a prediction because even though we all want Tariq to have a spinoff, there is no indication that there will be more Michael Rainey Jr. reprising his role as Tariq after season four ends, but this is for all of us who would like for it to go somewhere. And we need to talk about this right now. This video is gonna be another banger, so go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so y'all can get this fire every day because this is where you will get the wildest most creative and entertaining power theories on the World Wide Web. Also, if you're a power fan or power theory content creator, I'm looking to collaborate with all of you in future videos. I'd also love to get you guys on the weekly lives I do three times a week, where we can recap the episodes together and talk everything power. And if you want to be a part of that, email me at n.almighty1991 at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram at Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Now, without further ado, let's get to it right now. Let's break it down like this. To get into the meat and potatoes of this theory, first we have to ask ourselves, why Tariq will pursue Anya? Because here's the thing. When he decides to pursue Anya, it's likely that he's going to be coming at it at a negative place. So the reason why he will pursue Anya, right? It won't be the kidnapper anymore because no one is letting him live. It will be so his intentions are for her to fall for him to the point where if he was harmed, right? It would greatly affect Anya, and therefore, it would have an effect on Anya and Noma's relationship, okay? That's going to be the beginning of it. He's going to pursue Anya to keep Noma off his ass, okay? Because not, Noma will know that if Tariq is associating himself with Anya, that at any point, he could tell Anya, hey, look, I know what happened to your daddy. I know what happened to Francesco, right, in Italy, okay? I was there. Your mother did it. I seen her do it. And by the way, she's an international drug lord, okay? Okay? That will be the beginning of it, okay? And now we can discuss the lead up and why they will fall for each other, even though Tariq will have no intentions on doing it. We know how he started this season. He's not thinking about no vag. He's not thinking about no girls. He's focused on business, right? He wants to sell weight again, okay? That's what he wants. He wants to be in control of his own life. He wants to be the guy, right? It's safe to say he might wanna be the biggest goddamn drug dealer in New York City. But he will eventually fall for Anya and Anya will fall for him, okay? Why this will happen is because they have, it's like they have so many similarities and they can only relate to each other in a way that the other can relate, okay? 
A lot of people were thinking, including myself, that Lauren was possibly the best woman for Tariq because in the way she represented the man who he eventually would want to become, right? Like she was his Angela, right? But Tariq has up to this point not shown any interest on leaving the game. He only wanted to be in the game. He wanted to play with both sides, but he wanted to be in the game. Ghost didn't want to be in the game. Angela was perfect for him in that way because she represented the man who he wanted to become once he left the game. And then you think about Diana. Diana would basically be his Tasha, right? She was raised in the street, but she has some street smarts, right? She could be elevated with the right man in her life, putting the right opportunities, right? And then you got Effie, who doesn't represent what would be Tariq's Tasha or Angela, but she just represents another love interest. But because they're too much alike, that would never work. But in comes Anya. And the reason why they will relate so much and fall for each other is because of this reason. Tariq grew up not really knowing who his father was. He was lied to his entire life. Anya grew up not knowing who either of her parents was. She, had, she is still being lied to their entire life. So when Tariq makes the initiative to befriend Anya, and then he ends up blowing up buns off, right? Clapping them cheeks. He's going to understand Anya as a person. And he's going to understand Anya when she says, I don't even know who my mother is. I've been lied to. I think she's been lying to me. I want to live my own life. And here's the thing that they can relate to with each other that no one else who they've dealt with can. Y'all remember when Noma and Anya were talking about Anya's trust fund that Francesco left Anya, okay? And Noma says, so you just want to go off on your own, right? You want to spend millions. You're not ready for that. This, that, and the third. You're not 21 yet. Right? We don't know when she's turning 21. It could be like weeks, months within the power timeline. She could be turning 21 towards the end of season four of power. Right? These are things that they're going to relate to. And Tariq is going to peel back the layers of the onion for her. Okay? Tariq is going to be like, maybe I can confide in this woman. We're very similar. And he's going to get on his spiel of how, hey, um, yeah, I didn't really know who my father was either. I kind of didn't realize who he really was until right before he died. And I hated him for it. This could lead Tariq to either decide to tell Anya the truth about Noma, either because it's out of love or because it's out of love and... He wants to become like a Slim. He wants to tell the truth, tell Anya the truth about her mother, and hopefully, right, maybe she'll do something about it, right? Maybe she'll do something about it. Now, we've already seen Anya to have some kind of attitude, right? But it's also likely that Noma took Anya to a shooting range before, so she knows how to protect herself. It's likely that Anya also knows how to fight. So let me know in the comment section if you're up for a Noma versus Effie fight over Tariq, right? Let me know, right? But these are the things that we can expect to find out about Anya as her and Tariq gets closer and Tariq is blowing her buns off, okay? Now, with Lauren gone, there is plenty room for Anya to move into Tariq's heart because he will never trust Diana and Effie to love them if he ever really did because they did him dirty. So now with that being said, right, let's talk about the issues that are pretty obvious if you're really paying attention and you know how uh, romantic relationships go and dramas, especially like crime dramas or if you base it off of what you've seen in power in the past, okay? The problem will arise when the truth of Anya's father's death comes out 
And the problem that she has with Tariq is based off of how that information comes out, right? Will she find out Tariq always knew, right? Will Noma blame Tariq for his death to save face, right? Will she overhear Noma talking about it or Obi or somebody, right? Or will Tariq be the one out of love or out of control to tell Anya what happened, okay? And this will likely occur after they both fall for each other. So now we got to deal with those couple episodes where they're going to have to deal with that. So now that means that we can expect Anya and Tariq to hook up around episode three or four. So that means we got maybe episode five towards the cliffhanger of episode five where she finds out the truth about her dad. So then we got the early second half until the end of the second half for them to work that out, figure out what's going on with Noma, right? Will Anya kill Noma? Will Tariq kill Noma? Will Effie kill Noma? Monet, Tasha, will Don Carter arrest Noma or have to kill Noma, right? We will have enough time to figure that out. And once that happens, okay, the season can end with Anya forgiving Tariq because Tariq at the end of the day was not the one who killed her father. Understanding he was trying to stay alive and that Noma forced them to work for him. I mean, Noma forced Tariq and everyone to work for her against their will originally anyway, right? And therefore, that's why he had to keep the secret for, from her in order to save his own life. And by this point, Tariq will have beaten the odds. He will have beaten death and jail. Hopefully, if he beats the odds, he at least gets shot, okay? All right? This season is not as good as it would have been drama-wise, narrative-wise, if Tariq doesn't at least take a shot to the damn shoulder, okay? Come on now. The last time Tariq had real injury was when was when uh Vincent beat him up, whooped him with the oranges and stuff, right? Like I said though, Tariq will have been the odds, he would have then recovered his trust fund. It will also be around the time where Anya will be getting her trust fund. And if Noma is dead, that's extra money that Noma will have put into the side for Anya. And they both will be looking for a fresh new start out of New York. Probably with Tariq looking for a new business opportunity, right? Anya will have to clear some things up in the UK. Maybe she has another trust fund and she has to go to UK to clear up some things over there in order to get Noma's trust fund or something of that nature, right? This will have to be after Noma's death which Tariq won't have anything to do with, but he will be in love. Anya will invite him to take the trip with her and he will go, leaving room for a new spinoff in the UK. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Hey, teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's how to get that. That's like my ink. That's on the phone, nigga.